You know, here on the Southern Scene, we've been talking all about the big event coming up in, right up the road in Statesboro, Dancing with the Statesboro Stars. And someone who knows all about that fundraising and how important that is, of course, is Bubba Revel up in Statesboro. And he joins me now here on the Southern Scene. Bubba, it's great to see you. Glad to be here. Now, Bubba, what do you do here in Statesboro? Well, I own a uh, couple of local businesses, the Country Store and the Country Store Flooring Center. And I also am a reserve deputy with the Bullock County Sheriff's Office. Now, you participated in this event last year. Yes, ma'am. I was a, a dancer as well as, you know, doing some other volunteer work with Safe Haven. Now, you danced. Somebody said that you placed second last year. Yes, ma'am. So I, was, I was second runner-up. It's actually third place, but second runner-up. Second runner-up. And you danced to Eye of the Tiger? Eye of the Tiger and uh, Suit and Tie. Did you ever think that you would be dancing on stage in Dancing with the States for a Stars? Mm, absolutely not. <laughs> I, I'm not a dancer, but um, Pam really pushed me and said, hey, you need to do this. You'll have a lot of fun. And I, and I did. Of course, I've caught up with last year's big winner of Dancing with the States for a Stars. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I'm so that. excited to be involved with this event. I am, too. I, what I was am. it like last year to be involved with it and to win the big honor? To sum it up, it was amazing. Um, that is, I've never done anything like this before, but to come around and be around some of the people that are behind the scenes and the people that were out dancing um, and knowing what we actually are here to do, it, it was absolutely amazing. How important is this event to, uh, to the worthy cause Safe Haven? Why did you uh, take the time to do that? Well, being that working in law enforcement, you get a chance to see, not that it's a pleasant sight to see, but you get a chance to see a lot of families that are affected by domestic violence, the, the women, the children, even sometimes men. Um, being that there is someone there to help these families uh, and these individuals during these hard times is great. And it doesn't stop with just writing the report and, and driving away is, is, you know, is much more than that. You get a chance to come in, they have their different programs to help out the families, like I said, men, women, and children. Um, and the beginning stages, the middle stages, and also the ending phase to, to give them a better start, a brand new start at life.